my dear viewers welcome to this reading this reading is for all Pisceans and it's for December a little bit over 2024 it's everything you need to know Pisces every area of your life will be um, perhaps um, talked about addressed if there's anything that you need to know you should be able to get all your answers in this reading because it does tackle every area of your life. Welcome, my dear viewers. Thank you all for being here. And let us begin, starting with the two most important factors for all Pisces. For December and a little bit over, we have... I'll just put my glasses on. Right, we have the puppeteer. This is all about explanations and apologies. You may be going through explaining yourself justifying situations apologizing for certain things or maybe people that owe you explanations and apologies are coming through now this month um december a little bit over probably december to january uh people that have done the wrong thing by you people that you've seen have done the wrong thing by you finally are coming through and explaining themselves and apologizing people that are fighting with you uh, and becoming losing their temper you'll find that there'll be a lot of apologies and a lot of um, explanations as to why right <clears throat> let's see what else major impacts for all piscians the smith is about overthinking things and not taking action but you need to take action taking action is the way to proceed with anything to put something into um into action into to into it you know being uh dealt with so i feel like uh there's a lot of overthinking especially about a situation that you need to really take action about don't think about it too much take action because action is needed right now you need to implement the action right now so that's they're the two main major matters but of course like these major matters there is so much more okay let's take uh, two more important messages from the heavens for all Pisceans and we've got joy there's going to be a lot of happiness a lot of joy a lot of success this is becoming a, it's connected to success connected to um, a new door opening for you something magnificent but a lot of joy it can be connected to the Chinese ear of the ox the cat the rabbit I'll just move this back a little bit here we go just a tinge okay and then we've got joy and happiness that is beautiful now the next one for all Pisceans is oops, that cut wasn't good let's do it again December the truth and we've got purity purity is all about the unicorn the unicorn is about purity it's about um, a major challenge that you will overcome it is also about um, something that is going to be cleansing a new slate cleansing your life detoxifying removing anything that is no longer working and taking you to a level of a new way of looking at life a new life perhaps even uh, and it's going to be spectacular you are going to be loving it now i'm going to take two messages from another deck to see what else you need to know bear with me i'll just remove some things from here here we go now two important messages for all Pisceans December and a little bit over let's see these are the tarot so we'll see what's the first one wow the ace of pentacles prosperity begins the beginning of prosperity is going to bring you it's going to be ground for celebration ground for happiness it's like you've the seed of prosperity has begun and it's sprouting and it's booming and you are going to be enjoying this. This is a new beginning. So um, this new beginning is about to begin and it's going to, that's why I said with purity, they're cleaning the slate, removing anything that is toxic. And, and it's with this new beginning that there's a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. That's why they're taking, take action now. They're saying, don't overthink, think, overthink things, take action now so that you can move forward. The next one for all Pisceans oh wow passion ignites this is the ace of wands a new beginning that could be very make you very excited it could be meeting someone spectacular that you are going to be um really in a having a strong strong feelings for a lot of passion a lot of excitement with this new beginning whether it's a new beginning whether it's a project or a person in your life or a new adventure or some you know new passion something you're doing that you love Either way, it's going to be spectacular and you are going to be loving it, my dear Pisces. Whatever you're doing, whatever it's starting, you are going to be loving it. So we've got two beginnings, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of One. Two beautiful new beginnings. Let's see what else for all Pisceans. Wow, the sun is going to be shining in your path. 
bringing you all the happiness all the abundance all the healing that you need a lot of success extreme success coming away with the sun one more for all pisceans and we have the four of wands that's beautiful dreams being achieved goals being reached finalizing completion of goals so much blessings coming in that you are going to be in so much gratitude as you can see those two people hooraying um hands in the air just in so much gratitude for all that's happening this is about great victories coming and this is all starting from now up to four months so for four months this is going to be happening i'll put this one up here down here here we go right okay so that's the end of that let's see what else is happening for all pisces what else do pisces need to know there's so much more three more messages and see what else comes out the truth we have the two of wands some of you are thinking about relocating moving forward this is about relocation moving your home going for work distance possibly relocating your house you're move, moving to a better place the second one is there is a rebirth judgment is about a rebirth a new start a new life just like i've talked about the unicorn um bringing you a new chapter a new slate a new starting over a new way of life just like we have both the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands talking about i'll put them together a new beginning that is going to ignite um a new lease of life one that's going to be very rewarding you are going to be blessed you are going to be healed also healing there's a lot of healing removal of toxins from your life anything anyone any situation that was toxic was getting removed this is about starting a new page that's going to be spectacular a lot of compensation for all that you have gone through there is so much going to be giving you the best of the best here in this judgment all will be fair karma restored everything is coming to fruition for you that is beautiful right we have the knight of swords and this shows great news or news is coming important news this is the news that's going to make you take action this is the news where you will take action you don't have to procrastinate this about it's you can't even procrastinate even if you want to because it's time for you to take action this is where it says you've got the green light to go ahead go ahead if you want to build a house if you applied for a job where you have to travel a distance look at that if you have to travel a distance that also is possible because with the two of wands shows that you are relocating sometimes for work sometimes for a better life sometimes for a more economical life sometimes for a brighter life sometimes for the weather simply for the, a better weather um, people travel and go to better places so uh, or it could be just work and you're waiting for an answer and the news is going to be spectacular so the news of whatever may happen is going to take you to the next level and believe it or not the next level is a new beginning right so that you know this is a new beginning and it is also one that's going to be very prosperous there's a lot of joy and happiness coming in your life so relocation and then you've got um the page of uh, sorry the knight of swords great news coming quickly to you there are three and we're moving forward there is possibility of someone of fire energy someone um by your side supporting you or coming new in your life fire energy sagittarius aries leo i'll just put that one there but i do feel like you're leaving ultimately you're ultimately leaving okay so i'm going to take two more messages one two three four five six seven no seven is enough seven is fine now what i'm going to do is try to get other information for you let's see and then we'll clarify everything so we can understand it we have the moon the moon is all about clarity giving you the visibility to see everything around you it tells you where you're at where you're heading everything becomes clear another factor about the moon what is hidden what is unknown it shows you so in some cases there could be um things that are hidden from you you will be guided there may be an unknown source where money is fleeing funds are fleeing money are going somewhere that you're not aware of perhaps you will get to find that out that's to be found out um this could be also some of you looking at really doing strange odd jobs or night shift some of your part-time work and that's the moon let's see what else the truth for all pisceans 
And then we have cutlery. The cutlery is about business. Some of you thinking needing business tools. Some of you needing more money to buy more for your business. Um, living well, living the life, a beautiful life. This is also about, uh, for those of you who are sole providers, sole providers for your family, there will be more work coming. You could be planning to have your own business. There is food related careers, careers to do with food, restaurants, cutlery, all of that, careers in that. But the most important factor about this, needing more money for your business, um, and living well so you will be getting the money without a doubt let's see further what else you need to know my deep Pisces. oops oh here we go okay so they fell out let me just put my glasses for these two right we have getting to know each other the first one is a soulmate so you are going to be meeting your soulmate soulmate it says yes this is your soulmate. If you're wondering about someone you've just met and you're thinking, what is this connection? Why is it so bizarre? Why is it so strange? I've never felt this way before. Never felt this way before? It's your soulmate. It is only with a soulmate you feel that connection. That is beyond explanation, beyond earthly explanation. It's your soulmate. Something where you keep looking in their eyes and thinking, how can I live without this person? How can I lose this person? What can I do? I want to know so much about them. Getting to know each other. The more you're getting to know each other, the more you're falling. As you reveal innermost self, innermost selves uh, to each other, your bond deepens. Your bond becomes deeper and deeper. So this, we're talking about a major soulmate, not a simple soulmate, the real one, the real deal. One message from the heavens for all Pisceans, December onwards. Let's see what they want to tell us. Okay, here we go. I'm going to cut it. <laughs> I have to. I was trying not to cut it. I thought it would come out. The truth for all Pisceans. And there's the message, right? It says, I miss you. Mm, somebody really misses you. I miss you. I might take just one more. There's a lot of joy and a lot of... Oh, there it is. It just came out by itself. And it says, your kindness and care has changed me. Your kindness and care has changed me. I feel that this is very much connected to your soulmate. I also feel this is very much connected to this person that you're getting to know. The more you're getting to know, the deeper the bond is going. You're coming to realize that you're missing them. You're coming to realization that their kindness and their care for you change it, has changed them. So they can't do without you. This is a very strong soulmate effect, big time. And somebody really misses you. They're, they're missing you. So the missing is there too. Okay, that's that one. Now let's clarify everything. What we need to clarify. Actually, I might take one more message from another deck just in case. One more. Oh, and we got two. Okay. Let's see for Pisces what else you need to know. Right. It says a union. The union of divine soul counterparts. The union of divine soul counterparts. Soulmate. This is soulmate, my dear Pisces. This is it. I'll just put the obstacles down for a moment. So we're talking a union of soulmates. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. When you least expect it, you're going to meet your soulmate. And it's going to be magical. I've got goosebumps. I never get goosebumps about things like this, about love and all these things. Strange. Mm. I got goosebumps. Mm, I wonder why. Begins when you least expect it. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that I know. And when it begins, you it will be happening at a time when you least expect it. This union is going to be magical. Wow. Let's see this one. It says obstacles. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. So look a way around them to find them resolutions. Put them to an end. Solve them from the root from the foundation so that you can find happiness and not let them take away anything from you. Finally, I'm going to go one or two messages from another deck. And then I'll clarify everything. Okay, here we go. So isn't that amazing? We've got a unicorn and now we've got a white horse. The white horse is all about freedom. And then we've got the mortar and the pestle. We'll talk about that in a moment. The white horse is about freedom, breaking free. Tame versus wild, you know, a, a, situ a wild situation taming it. That's like find resolutions in regard to obstacles. Strong emotions, desire, driving, a driving force, desire there very strong to make you take action and do something. 
That's why they're saying take action. So there's going to be this strong uh, drive force pushing you to do things. Unbridled and sexual energy. Sexual energy is going to be high. Freedom, again, breaking free freedom. The horse is all about freedom. It's also about spirituality. It doesn't say that here, but it is. Unleashing the inner beast. Uh, it is connected to Chinese year of the cat rabbit. It's connected to quick success coming your way. Connected to the letter A for apple. Connected to people that have Aries in them. Or Taurus, connected to extraordinary amounts of freedom and spiritual growth and inner strength. Wow, that's beautiful. Where shall I put it? I'll put it over here. Over here. Can we see the horse? Yes. Okay, there we go. The horse right here. The next one, the pestle and mortar, this is about blending things, putting things together, concocting things, organizing things, organizing yourself to maybe to a job that you're applying or business, getting things together. It's also about medicine. It's about um, breaking things down. My dear Pisces, as I was saying about the uh, mortar and pestle, this is all about putting things together, preparing for work, preparations, uh, you know, putting uh, something to display, to um, create, could be even... We, we've got um, the cutlery here. Could be to do with business that your food, putting food together, different ingredients, um, concocting magic. For those of you who do practice magic, spells and things, <laughs> potions, it is. Um, I'm sorry for, for I shouldn't belittle anything like that. A lot of people believe in that, and it's all it's all fine. Um, just turning things over and making other things. So this is all happening, and. It is connected to a chapter of your love that's ending. So when there is ending, and we've got the unicorn, the unicorn is about ending and new beginning. So I do feel like there's something ending, and the heavens are putting things together for you to start a new life. A new life, a new lease of life that gives you a soulmate, that gives you happiness, that gives you a lot of abundance, a lot of blessings, a lot of abundance that's coming your way, and, and so much more. So that's that one. Now we're going to start clarifying the cards. And we're going to start clarifying the messages, starting with the two of one. Something just fell. I just want to see what it is. Oh, I see the king of swords. With the two of wands, okay, moving, I'll tell you. This is connected to people that have air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It is also co uh, connected to seeing things so clearly that they empower you to take, to take action. Again, seeing things so clearly to empower you to take action that we talked about, not overthink things and really take action, you know, hammer to like pestle to like pestle to mortar, boom, taking action and perhaps even considering relocating. So I feel like you are going to be so clear. Everything is going to be um, really You'll have the clarity and empower you. To, that will empower you to take action where you were not able before. You were in doubt before. So that's that one. And oh, that just fell when I was talking about the two, two of um, I was looking at the two of wands. So let's continue. I'll take two more. Two of wands. Let me just bear with me. Two of wands. Here we go. Two more. So the emperor. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. And there it is again. Air energy involved here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. What it looks like to me. And, and this is going to be really interesting because the, the Empress is about a very powerful, unconditional, loving kind of a energy that gives you abundance in every area. What it's doing for you, it's putting an end to something. And that end is in connection to an air energy. It is in connection to an air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra is something with them is ending a big battle. And then you're resting from a big battle and you're living a life of peace, knowing what to do, taking stock of what you're going to do in your life next. All that anguish, if there was anguish, or if there was a battle or disagreements or hardship with someone of air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, I will say that again. It's coming to an end and the Empress loving, powerful energy is releasing you, bringing you a lot of abundance so that you can rest from a big battle. That is what's happening, and that is the reason that you are able to be able to move move forward with the two of um, two of wands. You're able to take action and move. Now, don't forget at the end of this reading, we are going to go look at that Aquarius. Wow, that's an air energy. I was going to go and say, oh, um, that's an air energy to a Libra. Uh, we're going to go through, and there's another Aquarius. We're going to go through all the star signs and like take out a few number of star signs. 
by shuffling with that intention to see who are the people that you are going to be working very deep with in December, who you are going to be consumed with, who you are going to be falling in love with. If it's your soulmate, who is going to be? Who are you leaving? There is an air energy that you're leaving behind. What is happening? Everything is going to be put together at the end of the reading with the star sign so you know who's who and what's what. But now I see Aquarius being someone that has Aquarius in them, uh, very strong. But it could be also a Libra or Gemini, so we'll see. Now moving to the next level, okay, we did um, we did the Two of Wands. Now we're going to find out about the Sun for all Pisceans. What is the Sun doing? And it's putting a, a, on this Libra. Um, you're being released from a situation that was holding you captive where you were feeling restricted, you were not able to move. This is in connection to also those of you who, are, who have got air energy, who have got Libra in them, sorry. Libra is also an air energy. So Libra um, set free, a new lease of life, a new cycle begins where you're given a lot of money. Your status even changes. You become high and uh, high and rank, ranking to high level transcending to high level a lot of victories great rewards that will transcend you to amazing levels especially libra here those of you that have libra in you those pisces or anyone that's libra around you justice will prevail at the same time if there is a situation to do with a lawsuit it's going to be all in your favor something really ending and ending for for a spectacular reason uh, to take you to the next level and to heal you from a battle maybe you've been sacrificing a lot see these two cards fell you've been sacrificing a lot uh, for someone that's air energy. You've been putting yourself on hold and just doing to please this person. Air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I feel like this is part of this and it's all going to end and you are going to rest from this battle. Now let's have a look. And we've got the two new beginnings. So you're destined for a new beginning for sure. Let's have a look at the Ace of Pentacles for all Aquar uh, Pisces. <laughs> oh, wow. Overcoming a battle big time and having a great victory. You could be united with someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, uh, or reaching your goals yourself. This is a water energy like you, reaching your goals. We'll see if there is a water energy coming in your life. We'll see. Or is this probably representing just you reaching your goal and finally overcoming obstacles and really doing well, exceptionally well. And guess what? You're leaving. As soon as you overcome that challenge, you're leaving. You're going. This is what's hidden from you. You're taking a stand, putting your foot down and leaving. But there's that again. So I'm going to put this one here. In regard to the new beginning, you've got another two of um, another two of wands. Okay, let's have a look at further. We're going to come here and have a look at this news that's coming. And what is this news that's making you have the power to go? Let's have a look. Right. Okay, so what's giving you the power to go? The power to go. Wow, the emperor. This is amazing. This is about power and control over your life and an offer you can't say no to. It could be a business, uniting, working with others, making a lot of money. Why I say that is because the Three of Pentacles was here also behind it. When something ends, there's an ending because we've got the death card here, which means ending, right? Something is ending. You're able to move forward. There could be an offer you can't refuse. This could be in regard to this. And also you're being released. Why? Why are you being released? What's the news all about? Money. A large sum of money, a major rise in your money is happening and coming. Major. Major rise in your money. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So that's that one. That was all in regard to, all this was in regard to the news that's coming. So money, release also, releasing you. There's an ending. And wow, the heavens are going to be controlling this. Destiny is going to be part of this. I'm not going to take it because it might come up again, but destiny is controlling this situation. So it's something out of your hands, whatever is happening, whatever is falling apart, whatever is ending, no matter how awful it may be, it's happening for a reason, for your highest good. You might not see it straight away. There could be a death also. It is possible somebody could be passing and leaving you money. The reason I say that is because uh, the unicorn and also the death card, both show, they're both to do with death and rebirth um the ace of wands here it is again it just fell this is the ace of wands so i'll just put it next to it now we're going to do the four of wands and see what is what are these blessings that are coming your way money inheritance wow freedom 
and commitment to be to do to do better to yourself, for yourself to do what is right but mostly let's talk about this this is the inheritance where i said there was a passing a lot of money coming unexpected it could be a windfall but um, usually the four of pentacles is to do with inheritance somebody might be giving you an inheritance while they're still alive that is possible I know somebody who's doing that right now for their family, giving their inheritance, dividing them everything while they're alive. There are people who do that. So inheritance is coming. Um, and you ha this is going to set you free. The money that's coming is giving you freedom, freedom from cares and worries. And that's why you're celebrating. That's why you are so happy with the four of wands, celebra celebrating, hooraying these blessings, blessings that are so incredible that are going to take you to the highest level blessings so maybe this is what's hidden from you with the golden moon a lot of things are hidden and this could be part of it so a lot of blessings coming freedom and money unexpected that is ground changing life changing money ground changing life changing money coming your way so that is incredible absolutely incredible okay so that explains all of that the four, well, we're doing all this about the four of wands, and now we know what's going on. I wonder if you're able to see the, the four of wands that I keep talking about. It's right here. We talked about it. Okay. Now we're going to have a look at the, and look at this. You're destined to live a life of wealth and luxury. Destined for this. That's why you'll have no cares in the world because of the nine of pentacles. And because, of course, the, the money that's coming. They did say major rise in your money. We got the inheritance or a windfall. That's all there. And now we've even got this on top of everything. So there's a lot of money coming in, extra amounts of money. That is giving you a major rise to your money, an extreme major rise to your money. And that is what is hidden from you. That's what the moon is all about. What's hidden is a lot of wealth coming your way that you're not aware of yet. Now you don't know about it. it for some, it could be unexpected uh, inheritance. And unexpected also can be a windfall and a major rise in your money that's giving you a life of wealth, luxury, and guess what? Freedom. Freedom from cares and worries in the world. No cares, nothing to worry about. No getting up in the morning for work, nothing. Absolutely nothing. No care in the world. How amazing is that? Right, so now the next one, we move on to, and all this is destined for you. Uh, the Ace of Wands, this new beginning, what is it going to do? Didn't we already ask that? Ace of Wands for everybody. <laughs> um, it shows a new beginning, gives you a lot of understanding where there was conflict, disagreements. You're finally understanding why all the conflict, why all the disagreements. It is this conflict that made, you, made all the changes come through. And then with the Ace of Swords, we've got all the Aces, we know. A new passion is beginning. Something magical is happening. But why did it answer with a, uh, with an Ace of Swords? Because finally you will have clarity. Finally you will understand why the conflict. Why did it have to reach this way? Why did it have to end? Why you needed to take action so quickly that you were sort of maybe two hearts, not 100%. You wanted to take action and leave a situation. But ultimately, a lot of aha moments where everything is understandable. A great victory awaits you. A lot of truth and a great epiphany. 102 and your oldest wish being granted at the same time on top of everything a proposal that you can't refuse taking action where you weren't able to go before or even planning a trip everything becomes possible and that is magnificent now i'm going to go through and see star sign combination of the people that you are going to be consumed with this first one is falling gemini that you're consumed with Virgo it could be a Gemini Virgo somebody that because these both are united with Mercury Mercury is the ruler of Virgo and the ruler of Gemini so they sat next to each other I feel like you could be dealing with someone that is Gemini that has Virgo they could be Virgo they have Gemini okay who else oh too many okay wait a minute they're all jumping okay so we've got Scorpio here water energy something else was no they didn't open up okay Pisces, consumed with, dealing with, soulmates, everything. We want to know everything. Libra has come up. Libra, remember, this is justice. So Libra is there. And Libra is air energy, so we'll see. All Pisces dealing with. But, you know, air doesn't go well. And there's the Aquarius that I was talking about. So Libra Aquarius, both air energy. They don't go well with water. We've got water energy itself, Scorpio. We've got Cancer. And we've got fire energy, Leo. So let's have a look. We need a little bit more. 
Which Leo consumed with you might be consumed with a lot of people. Oh my god, look at this. So Virgo has doubled up. Virgo very strong here. Now you got two Capricorns, both Earth energy. Now, Earth energy is spectacular for you. It's your soulmate. Whoever's got Virgo in them, or if you meet Virgo, if you meet uh, Capricorn, they're your soulmates. Earth energy. Number one soulmate is Capricorn, then Virgo. Let's have a look. Okay, that's it. That seals the deal. Finishes. So we've got three Capricorns and we've got Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. We've got two fire energy. Fire energy, my dear Pisces, you can't live without. You can't live without Sagittarius or Leo, without a doubt. You need fire to be able to get your warmth. So whoever you're with, you need to have the fire. But for you to last with someone long term and plan and, you know, be happy with, they have to have Earth energy. And guess who's number one for you is Capricorn. Capricorn's Capricorn always and almost always they end up with Pisceans. So Capricorn number one, Earth energy, the highest level of Earth energy here very strong and then you've got the other earth energy which is virgo virgo that might have air energy in them gemini possibly or you have also um you are dealing very strong with fire we can't even negotiate the fire the fire is not open for, for negotiation this is someone that is part of you this is someone that is that could be a child that's um, that's how much or it could be someone that's got fire energy in them like Sagittarius or Leo you just want to hold on to because they give you air to breathe why I say that I know earth is priority first in ranking earth is for you my dear my dear Pisces then the second one is fire because it gives you warmth you're always cold when you when I say cold metaphorically what it means that you are always feeling need it okay feeling you need someone to love you to care for you to nurture you you need someone to understand you. You need someone to be there for you, like a blanket to warm you. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's where the fire comes in. For you to prosper, thrive, and move forward and not lose anyone, like be with someone for long term, and that, that comes your stability, your foundation is earth. And we've got Capricorn, your foundation, number one, because we've got three, and also Capricorn Pisces are well known. They spend lifetimes together, Capricorn Pisces. They're, they're very much connected. And, and then you've got the second one, Virgo. It could be this Virgo might have Gemini in them, could be Gemini Virgo, where the, the Gemini could cause issues with words, expression. There could be wars, battles. But because the earth is there, could make it work. Then you've got water energy. If you're going to be with water energy like Scorpio or Cancer, if they've got earth in them, they'll go fantastic because earth is your foundation. If they've got fire in them, it'll go wonderful because you're both cold, you're both water, and you both need fire. So the fire is going to bring you that incredible um, warmth. And then you've got air energies such as Aquarius and Libra. I just feel these two are, and Gemini, these air energies, I don't think they go well with you at all. So you might be leaving behind someone that might be Aquarius, leaving behind someone that might be Libra or Gemini. Unless the Gemini's got Virgo in them, well, that's different. That could be giving you uh, a bit more a bit more connection. If they've got fire in them like Sagittarius or Leo, that just makes it more spectacular. Your sex life becomes spectacular. Your love life becomes amazing, um, except the fact that the communication part, the expression part becomes this. With air and fire, they've got air and fire, air and earth. There's anger inside them. Within them, they get angry. But... It, that anger doesn't last long, but they can be expressive, expressing it in a harsh way and you're very sensitive. So that could be a problem when there's air involved in your life. So what I'm saying is you're leaving behind the toxic situation. That toxic situation seemed to be with air energy. And who's air? Gemini, Aquarius and Libra. Libra's behind it. There it is. So air energies are being left behind. Now you're moving in towards Earth. Number one, Capricorn. Number one, number two, Virgo. And then you've got water energy such as Cancer or um, Scorpio. They all go with you because they're water energy. And then you've got the fire that's going to be there with you. Every water energy that comes in your life, they've got to have fire for you to be interested in them. Otherwise, you won't be. You won't be interested no matter how much you're alike. Um, every um, air energy that comes in your life, they have to have air, uh, they have to have fire. Otherwise, you, from the beginning, you wouldn't be interested in air energies such as uh, Aquarius, Libra. So they must have some fire in them. Leo, Sagittarius seem to be the ones, and um, I feel like you're moving forward with Earth and fire, 
and you are going to be doing spectacular when it's fire earth especially if you're with a leo sagittarius and capricorn even if you're a leo sagittarius with virgo you will do amazing if it's water energy like cancer with virgo magic absolutely you'll be in heaven absolutely in heaven uh there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of connection a lot of nurturing a lot of real realism they're very realistic people and hard working like you virgo is hard working capricorn workaholics they work hard, they play hard, they're real, they're honest, they're direct to the point. Fire energy, spectacular, nurturing, loving, giving, generous, everything, Leo, and, and um, very loving and very sensual, very hot. So, and of course, you've got the air energies. Now, the energies, air energies are beautiful people. Don't get me wrong, I'm a Libra, so I'm air energy. Sagittarius, Leo, of course, they're in the background, that's these two, but I'm not important in this reading. What is important is to know is Libra people are one, uh, sorry, uh, air energies are wonderful, but what's um, important about them is with water, they cause some sort of turbulence. Now, if an air energy has earth in, in them, they can be inspiring because except the expression that causes damage, the words that are being said, they hurt, they linger. And you're sensitive. So they, it does last, but not too long because of air energies can be expression. They can be very honest and raw to the, to the core that it can, it can be very painful. Uh, the other factor is they are, they do maneuver you. They support you. They change you. Like it says here, uh, it says here, your kindness and care has changed me. So if you were with an air energy, maybe that an air that had, for example, Capricorn in them, uh, they've got the earth. So maybe you were with this person for a longest time, but the air could have destroyed it if they're Aquarius or Gemini or Libra. Your kindness and your care would have changed this person. But ultimately, the words destroy it. The words that are very painful, the harsh truth that they're bombarded with, that you get bombarded with, doesn't make it last. So that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm saying that things are changing for Pisces. Now that all the blessings are around you, things are changing. There's joy, happiness, the end of a chapter. The new chapter looks to me like you are going to be dealing with earth and fire. Uh, Capricorn being number one. Or it could be either one. Or it could be double. Like it could be a Capricorn Virgo. Someone with Capricorn Virgo with fire energy. Leo Sagittarius. There could be someone that's Cancer or Scorpio. Either one with Capricorn or with Virgo. Or having the combination of Earth. These are Earth. This is water. Uh, Scorpio Cancer is water. Virgo Capricorn is Earth. You are water. So you go well with them. But you need foundation. Earth. And then you need the fire. The fire goes without saying it's something that's part of you that you've got to have to in order to exist in order to be able to thrive in order to be excited in the morning to get up to do you need fire to give you that warmth and that's what's happening that's where you're at and that is incredible can't wait to hear your comments let me know what you think um and please give me a thumbs up and please support me seeing the videos all the way to the end subscribing takes a click absolutely free everything is free in this channel I'm in gratitude to all your support. It means a lot to me. But there is, I'll just say this one more time, there is a water energy coming in your life. And this water energy could be Cancer or Scorpio. Now, there is a possibility, very strong possibility, that you could be with someone that is Gemini, that might have Virgo, and might have Cancer. This combination will last. This will be practically your soulmate, except for the Cancer, except for the Gemini. But the Earth here, the Virgo, and the Cancer, both are united with you on a grand scale. If this Gemini, say it, I'm just saying, if you were with a Gemini uh, and who had Virgo in them, if there's any fire in them, like Sagittarius or Leo, well, that makes it all possible because you got the fire, you got the foundation, the earth, you got the fire with this Gemini. So this Gemini can succeed if you are, with, this is just an example, if a Gemini is Cancer, Cancer, Virgo, with Sagittarius, or Leo, either one, uh, because you've got the foundation, You've got the cancer, which is you, water. You blend well together. You've got the fire to give you the warmth, and you've got the foundation to grow. So that's what it's all about, and that is uh, why I love the elements and everything about this this part. Well, that's why I do it to everybody, to make you understand uh, where everything is and why everything is, and, you know. And um, that's it. That's the end of it. I do hope you enjoyed it. All my love, all my blessings and gratitude to all of you. Namaste.